Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about how to handle alerts in robot framework automations. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So let's what you will get it from this video this is a website or selenium easy website where you can find it out the alert section is available for automation perspective this is a demo website you can use any of the website for your automation need even though if you are working on real time project you can utilize that project as well so whenever we are talking about an alert system Alert is possibly are available like this either with one button or you can find it out with two button as well. So here I am going to consider with two button so that you can accept and dismiss your request whenever their pop up will appear in front of you. So let's see how we can automate this activity to check for the verification perspective. So here in the right, we need to create a new test case. So I'm giving here the test case name as alert. Click on this and now I am creating a script here. So first is keyword is open browser so that it will open the browser. And here I am giving the URL, whichever URL is present here so this is my url i want to open this url in chrome and now i want to maximize the window maximize window so that our window will be available in full screen next i want to handle the alert box so before that we have to click on that button so click element is again a new keyword which I am using here and for this I will need a X path of this locations for getting X path we just have to click right click and then inspect element so click on this oh, sorry scroll down and go to the positions now click on this to inspect the elements click on this and right click or like right click here and then go to copy and then copy x path so when you will copy x path you will get the complete x path here to click so for adding the x path you need to write x path then colon and then directly the value which you have copied it so now this will open alert box for us and then we have to write handle alert is again a new keyword for handling your alert now if you want to click ok button then you have to write accept and let me add here some delay time so that you able to see the response sleep of three seconds so three second here and now close browser so this will close my browser let's run this and see the result start save this first and then run it now it will open my browser go to the link and from that link it will click on click me button then after clicking on that the pop-up will appear and we will see Two boxes, uh, sorry, two buttons, OK and cancel. Post that, it will click on OK tab and then our script will be saved. So I think there is some issue. Oh, sorry. Let me remove this and then we'll run it. I think there is a typo error because of that it's not running. Save it again. Now 
now you can see browser is open pause that it will go to the button and then it will click on button you can see pop-up is open then it will click on ok to accept the view now if i want to dismiss to check the cancel button so i will write here dismiss then again run this and see the result this time it will click on cancel button Then third part, if I want to leave uh, the uh, pop-up button, then we can add your leave so that it will not click any of the, none of the button and perform the actions, whatever is required. So this is how we can handle it. Uh, so if I want to check the message, which is present on my alert box is accurate or not like this, uh, press a button if I want to check this message then we have other activity as well or other keyword so for using that we have to write here alert should be should be present and here we can write the exact message which is available here copy this and paste it to here so this will check my this message is present or not if it is not present then it will give me an error message or my test case will be failed so this is how we can uh, justify it the message is correct or not even though if i want to check it uh, for the negative cases like you can see now it is passed let me change some of the text here so or we can directly should not we can add your not be present and then our test case will fail which says that we are verifying our message accurately so this is how we can check alert box and the their message is present or not in robot framework automations so that's all operations will be performed on alert box hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider sharing within your circle thank you for watching